Bulavinaka Fiji, a very good evening and namaste to you from whatever part of the country you are joining me from tonight. I trust that your weekend is coming along fine and you are settling in well for your most favorite night of television this week. If you are joining me this evening from the hidden paradise of Savu Savu, good evening to you. I have a great show for you this evening which also includes my postcard from Sanya in China, so keep watching the show. Now, one designer that will be getting attention next month when he shows his collection at the Fijian Fashion Festival is Aise Konrote. No stranger to the limelight of fashion industry, Aise Konrote has showcased a collection in nearly every major fashion event around the country, including a few shows overseas. I sat with the designer maestro to find out about his preparations ahead of the event next month, who tells me that he's very excited about his new collection. Bula Fiji, I'm Aisei Konroti, fashion designer for the Hefroni brand. Aisei lives life, especially with his family and friends. Uh, now, he loves, occasionally loves his red wine. Um, he's a person that's, uh, in life he sets his goals and he achieves, tries to achieve them, so he's an achiever. Got into fashion in the year 2008 um, with the inauguration of um, uh, Fiji Fashion Week. Um, and since then, I haven't looked back. Uh, having said that, I think uh, if you come from a background with a mother who's, who's a seamstress and a fashion designer and uh, with sisters who are glam, who try to be glamorous and then joining an industry like the Air Pacific flight attendants or the girls dressed to the, right up to the T, then fashion was instilled way before 2008, but on a professional level as I am at the moment, uh, then it would be from 2008 with the inauguration of Fiji Fashion Week. I'm inspired, this collection is inspired by me. Um, the things uh, throughout life, it's, uh, influential people that inspires me, one or two. Um, every bit of my life is brought into, the, into this collection. And this collection has four segments. Uh, is I'm launching my menswear. Um, I've done shirts before, one or two, but this is when I'm launching a collection of menswear. Um, I have a touch of the children's wear, and of course my resort in women's wear. I see the inspiration would be would be me. I am inspired by myself. My life uh, has inspired me to do this. Um, I've the environment is always there to to inspire me, um, and it is through the environment in my past life that's inspired me this collection. And having it's, it's like um, the colors that I, I love, um, are black, um, mostly black. And what can I do with it to try and bring it into a fashion statement? Um, the types of work that I've gone through, uh, being a former flight attendant, some of my, one or two of my designs will, will actually fly. I think starting from the, from the very first show that I did, uh, um, why do I do a collection? Why am I involved in fashion, in a fashion, to a fashion show? Um, as a designer, I wanted to tell a story. Uh, whether to do with the colors, whether to do with life, whether to do with a plant, or whether to do with something, but to have a story. Um, and again, if someone had, uh, you would know me quite well, I usually start a story, some collections I do a theme, sunrise to sunset. So the colors and the patterns start with a lighter color, yellow and pastel blue, you know, then it goes into midday colors, heavy sunshine, then goes into sunset and goes into a darker color. So at the end of the show, when each outfit comes on the catwalk, it basically tells a story. Um, you can either do it with sun, sunrise or sunset, or do the colors of the rainbow. With this uh, collection, I'm putting 80 pieces in. It may sound a lot, but it's not. I think it's because I started with 120 and I sort of cut it down uh, to the practical bit of it and 
just as soon as I know the number of models, I may either increase or just retain the 80. And it's uh, separated amongst, uh, amongst my segments. For example, I, one of the segments I have wearable art. Uh, then there's 10 pieces of the wearable art. Um, I have a children's wear, a touch of the children's wear. Uh, we don't have children models, but my kids, whoever kids are going to model, come out with me in the finale. Um, At any festival, any show that uh, that I participate in as a designer, uh, I hope to achieve more, uh, to achieve recognition. And from that recognition is um, steps to for me to take on as to where I'm going to go next from that. Um, this I hope to achieve um, achieve the eye of um, sort of sorry, the eye of a movie producer or a movie director because that is something I'd like to forward get myself into, into costume designing in movies because that's one of the aims that I want to do is to be nominated for an Oscar award in costume designing and that's what I'm going to be working for hoping to achieve but apart from that I'll just carry on designing. Oh very easy very liberated very liberated and it ties in with the clothes um, cliche to say she's confident but she's got to be a, a very liberated woman a sensual person and through those just with those two becomes a very confident person that she doesn't dress for anybody but herself and then very non-apologetic about things uh, I've always said in the past is to, to be yourself love what you do uh, and to emphasize that in whatever you do it's you know you, you you have a passion for whatever you do, you will excel uh, if you're looking to pursue a career in fashion. Um, come into it because you love it. Don't come in for the glamour of it. Uh, it's not easy, like with any other thing. It's, it's, it's long nights. It's, um, it can be depressing at times. Um, uh, it's an industry uh, that's quite tough. Um, and it's... Um, with my experience, it's not good for the faint-hearted. <laughs> um, but if you can weather all of that, then you will succeed. But just uh, come in and um, be ready to work for it. Come in for yourself. Don't come in because you like the glamour and you want to be in the pictures or you know with the, with the accolades that the public give. It's great to get the feedback. But come in for yourself and present something. I think at the bottom line is if, as a designer, you present something unique you don't present something that the public has already seen. I'm Isaac Conrote, keeping it cheche on Chechemon. Designer extraordinaire Isaac Conrote chatting to me about his preparations for the Fijian Fashion Festival to take place next month, the 1st and 2nd of June at the Grand Pacific Hotel in Suva. Tickets are on sale and you can get more information about this by visiting their Facebook page. Definitely an event worth seeing with lots of fashion and talent on display. Time for a short break. Join me in China next. It's my postcard from the city of Sanya on Hainan Island. That's next. See you soon.